County Historical Museum. Today, we have a special guest that happened to pass by, Cowboy George. Hi, welcome to the museum. Thank you. Thank you. Today, George is going to show us how to tie a wild rag. And what is a wild rag? What can you do with the wild rags? So, if you want to follow along at home, all you need is a bandana. This is 22 by 22. You can even just get a piece of fabric and cut it out. Or you can just get a simple bandana at your local craft store, dollar store, and work along with this. Now this is a cloth, a larger wild rag. This is 36 by 36. The first thing you want to do is just fold it in a triangle and then Cowboy George, do you want to show us what we, how we can tie some knots? Well, if this may be too big, if it, you think it's too big, you can roll this up and some cowboys double them. But anyway, uh, one thing I was going to tell you is I've always had an aversion to having something tied around me. I, maybe it's an aversion to hanging or whatever. But I was going to ask you, why do you have an aversion to doing well, this? <laughs> when I was a young man riding bulls and rodeoing, I was a teenager, I, I bucked off over a bull's head and he ran a horn right oh. up my belly, hooked, up, hooked into my belt, and I'm dangling, going down the arena, hitting my Jeez. head every time he came down so for a long time i didn't wear a belt or anything after i don't but blame now you. I, like i said i have an aversion to having something tied around my just in case mm -hmm. you ever catch a hold of anything you know that could choke you if it was right tied in a square knot mm -hmm. if it was tied in a double knot like that i'm i'm not trying to demonstrate this knot because okay. I think it's dangerous. That won't. So come that's off. the tight version. So to get a looser knot, it's easy if you just want to, you know, take it off. Or seeing how today, you know, we're in a time that we have to wear masks in certain places, if not that's all right. places. So you could just slide this around and use it as a mask. But what um, the way I tie mine so that it will come off is I left and right take my right over the left back under i'll make a loop right here there's a loop around the left hand one okay there's a loop so i just tied basically over, it's an under. overhand knot that's what's called an overhand knot and then tighten it up pretty tight and that'll stay most of them. i mean if you're turning your head a bunch it might come out you might sure. have to redo it and there's but your if mask. If you want to rob banks or, or for your COVID-19, yeah, you know. Or going to Walmart. Or going to Walmart, place. that's right. So. Uh, well, and then so you have this larger wild rag. And why do you think that these were so big? Did you think maybe they used them, um, the cowboys use them as blankets or to keep well, their necks yeah, warm? They would be, they're good for keeping them warm. You know, especially the larger ones that, like I said, a lot of cowboys will wrap it around their neck twice, you know, and uh, right. something like something like that. Right. And it might and be easier keep, with the silk one, too. It'll keep them warm, or uh, in a hot summertime, you can wet those down, drench them in water, and mm -hmm. they will keep you cool, you know. You know, uh, go ahead. Well, and... and also just to have like a handkerchief you know you're just sweating mm -hmm. you know you can, like a cool scarf like a cool scarf exactly mm -hmm. what other uses do they have for this Did they use it for maybe around the campfire like use as a pot holder well, or, yeah i mean uh, of course they probably have their gloves but yeah you can obviously another piece of cloth you can use it for lots of things a wars cloth a, a towel or whatever you know and it's so a, cowboys took bass back then the once clock. a month <laughs> whenever they're close to a creek once a month yeah some people are fiends for it you know they might do it two or three times a month but, but well that is great do we want to get a close-up shot of you dying or not one more time we can okay left and right I go with my, I'm right handed, if you're left handed you probably do it opposite, but I'm right handed, I go over with the right hand side, come under, make a loop, 
make a loop and then an overhand knot. Just stick the tail of that back through, back through the loop. And that would be called loop, and this would have been called a working end of a knot, is the end that you're tying. Well, I don't know about you, Cowboy George, but I want to see some pictures of some Wacky Wednesday kids with their shirts on, or you don't have to even have a Wacky Wednesday shirt on, but we want to see you with your wild rag bandana. I say we need to get a yee-haw for George. Thank you so much for coming out today. I learned a lot. Did you learn a yes, lot? I hope lot. you guys learned a lot as well. And if you want to learn even more about cowboys and their ways, please join us this October 9th and 10th for Cowboy Days out here at the Crawford County Historical Museum. Until then, happy trails. Um.